can grow YouTube show. I think that plants, you are a great example of this, right? They have inspired and opened your eyes to mm -hmm. new aspects of sustainability that you may not have been exposed to before. And for me, I always tell people all the time, like, especially with clients, like connect with your plants. If you want to name them, if you want to talk to them, if you want to do whatever it is that you build a relationship with them, do it because you are building empathy for the planet in the process. And I know from a botanical scientific standpoint, you shouldn't anthropomorphize your plants and you shouldn't give them human characteristics. Why not? Fuck that. Why not? <laughs> yeah, why because, not? <laughs> because they're, the average person owning plants is not running scientific studies on these things. But if, yeah. if that naming and that empathy that you've created allows you to think differently about your role in this ecosystem that I alluded to earlier, what is that going to lead to? Is mm -hmm. that going to be more trips to the farmer's market? Is that going to be bringing reusable bags to the grocery store? Is that going to be yeah. trying a plant-based diet or just, you know, cutting back on certain things that you would normally buy new and now you're buying them secondhand? It is all a stepping stone. And I think plants are kind of that botanical bridge that are connecting people to nature in a world that we are very disconnected, especially if you're living in a city. Totally. And I feel like, too, I know that you are such an exemplary plant-based person. That is definitely the far, I am, that is the farthest down my journey, right? <laughs> Me and my husband. My husband is a neat That's a tough a one. That is a tough one. It's tough. And as my Italian upbringing, like that is a real, that's a real stretch for me, even though I, I have been vegan twice before, but as, in terms of a lifestyle change, that will be a tremendous lifestyle change. Mm. But I have even noticed this year as I started doing, you know, I have 25 grow bags this year trying to grow stuff on my balcony. Yeah. And um, I noticed a lot of my lunches all of a sudden were the vegetables and the tomatoes I, were, I was growing and meat became a much smaller focus. And I think the more we grow and the more we fill our lives with plants, the less we will be attracted to that. And, you know, in no way am I committing to be vegan right now because that's going to be a long change. And, you know, I've got to work with my partner on that too. But, um, but something you said to me on our last podcast interview, which really stuck with me and which I've quoted you a lot about is – we don't need 10 people doing 100% more. We need 100% of the population doing 10% more. And that 10% over time changes and grows and becomes larger. And I think it's, it's all part of that journey. So just asking yourself, what's one thing I can do to kind of call in a more sustainable lifestyle? And when you figure that out, okay, what's the next thing? And how can I just keep kind of evolving going back to approachable is a much more approachable way to to communicate and support you know mother nature and um and our lifestyles than feeling like all of a sudden mm. you've got to become this vegan upcycled like person <laughs> out of nowhere you know? upcycled person i love that um uh, i just this i upcycled person <laughs> yes i'm just bits and pieces just put together secondhand right um no, yeah. I, I, I couldn't agree more with you. I think it's all about just you level up, right? You, once you reach level yeah. two, then you're on to level three. And you don't have to get to level 10 tomorrow, right? It's, it's a process. Yeah. And, you know, having support systems, whether it's partners, friends, people you follow on Instagram and support, having those people there to provide encouragement and not shame, which sustainability yeah. shaming is a whole, whole other conversation. But you need to be encouraged and to motivate people, you need to show them a way that they can get attached to and grab onto versus just, just solely talking about the terrible state that we're in because that is not very motivating for most. Yeah. And there's a, there's one thing everyone can do, right? I mean, there's one simple shift that everyone can do.